climate change is a major concern globally and there are mitigation measures out there with countries to individuals adapting to all these umpteen measures that are available. However, some individuals make a difference by doing this with a passion or adapting to these missions and measures with a passion and with a commitment. One such is Shiv Prasad Sharma, all the way from Nepal, joining us on this episode of the next guest from the 973 show. Shiv Prasad Sharma, all the way from Nepal. Thank you very much, Mr. Sharma, for joining us on this episode. Namaste. I'm sh I know you're on a stopover in Bahrain. You're coming from Qatar, Saudi, yeah. Bahrain. And all the information about you is out there on the internet. People can read it. Okay. You have pledged to travel 150 countries in your bicycle Correct. to make a difference to the planet. Mm -hmm. My questions would be something different. Okay. Let me begin with this question. I understand that you have traveled 18 countries so far. Yeah. What are the pressing challenges that you found in these countries, which stood out from your own country, which was new to you? Or is there anything like that? First of all, uh, according to my uh, journey, you know, that my plan that uh, myself, I never find anything challenge. Okay. Mm -hmm. first, of, first of all, I always get enjoy first, okay? Okay. So, um, wherever I go, I feel enjoy. Okay. So, uh, there is no challenge and nothing, uh, the difficulties like that, okay? Yeah. That is not on my dictionary. So, okay. So, um, it's true that I am using the bicycle. Mm -hmm. So, or so, so the other people say that uh, it's not uh, easy, it's hard, right? Mm -hmm. So, but uh, I say that uh, I have chosen this uh, the commute for, for the traveling, okay? So, I don't mind. I'm enjoying. Okay. So, so, so if I go to the anywhere, uh, yeah. no, no problem to me, okay? Okay. So, Bahrain is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the road, you know, the road condition is very good. Mm -hmm. It's smooth, so it's, it's so easy to uh, biking pedal, here. Yeah, yeah okay. it's so easy to pedal. Right, yeah, okay. So and I think you have pledged that you will plant a sapling, a tree sapling, mm -hmm. in every country you visited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think you planted one in Bazetian yeah, Garden yeah, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. What is the emotion behind this? Why did you decide like that? The, the, my mission, you know, the total the mission is that is, uh, I have a principle that and the motto is that uh, to save the earth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sweep the earth, and uh, uh, the, we all are suffering by the climate change and the global warming. And so, uh, I just thought that uh, when I started, before starting this uh, planning, uh, then I thought that uh, I had to choose the, the new subject matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, what will be that? Then I tried to get the uh, information. Now it's nowadays it's so easy yes. because we have internet yeah. and the Google, you know that uh, yeah. GPT. You know, so, so they are uh, uh, providing us the so many informations. Mm -hmm. So that was new subject, not not only for the Nepali, not only for for the uh, the uh, the people from the uh, the country, the particular country, not for the uh, caste. So what will be that then? I tried that, tried a lot, so many days, mm -hmm. so many nights. Then I found that the climate change and the, uh, the global warming, this is the topic. So, you know that I'm a very common person. So the stakeholders and the states, maybe they do the something. Bigger different. and larger and different, different yeah. yeah. But uh, what can I do as a simple human being? Mm -hmm. Then I said, okay. I can do this because I'm a former football player. Yeah. So physical work, I can do that. I said, then I use the bicycle, then global warming and the climate change. Okay, I, it's a social awareness message. Wherever I go, then I talk to the people, to the people that uh, we have to do this one uh, in the future. Uh, but the plantation, you know that. Huh? The plantation is the major thing. The, if I say about the plantation, the people, they easily understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we all know that what is the importance of the plantation so every each uh, the plant you know it will give us the uh, full of the oxygen mm mm-hmm. so, so easy yes Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. if we get uh, oxygen, so it's in, uh, our uh, primary necessity. Okay, right. So, so simple message yeah, simple to, to common people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's interesting, and you know, uh, Mr. Sharma, in all these eighteen countries, mm-hmm. I'm sure you must have been welcomed by people who are interested, like yeah. you, in the environment, in the nature. Did you find any local initiatives which you found interesting, mm-hmm. like? in bahrain there are many such initiatives mm-hmm. like the national um program for mm-hmm. agriculture development or environmentalists and activists activists putting up seeds uh, uh, seeding plants and you know forestry and all those things in these con- in various countries is there anything interesting that you found local pro- projects local projects and uh, the i observe that wherever i go i just uh, prefer to uh, watch the natural things mm-hmm. not by the human being and i i observe here that uh, even though the whole this is they, they are trying to make the greenery a bit mm-hmm. well, mm-hmm. okay it's in same the in the bahrain mm-hmm. the government and the people both this is my guess only i'm mm-hmm. not sure because yeah. uh, i i uh still i have uh, no encounter with the any uh, agency government agency mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. i just yesterday day before yesterday last 3 uh, days uh, since last 3 days mm-hmm. uh, i uh, i am uh, entertaining with a uh, person who uh, is the in charge of the the small garden yeah yeah the vasetin garden the yeah very yeah. planted the tree yeah uh, so he is the genius person mm-hmm. and uh, at the same uh, time i met uh, a member of parliament yes and uh, a gold businessman yes mr okay. jur yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so the actually the, it was a coincident mm-hmm. okay is a coincident mm-hmm. i met the, the gold businessman mr what is name ajur mr ajur yeah as yeah. he arranged everything Mm-hmm. Okay, so luckily I met that guy in the garden mm-hmm. who has a lot of potential, you know that, and uh, passion. Mm. So he is a single man, but uh, he is uh, doing the work. You know that uh, it's a thousand people, maybe the thousand people cannot do that. Mm-hmm. He's doing mm-hmm. alone. So um, I'm not. I don't know. No, I am not sure that what is the proper pro- program of the gov- government of the Bahrain. Mm-hmm. But uh, surface, surfacely, you yeah. can see that they are trying to make something. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, uh, that it's it's in that uh, everywhere is giving greenery. Mm-hmm. So that's important. That is important. Mm-hmm. And um, tell me about uh, the plan, the journey. Mm-hmm. Which was your first country? first country was my uh, india 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 okay and i i have started this uh, uh, journey uh, the mission 13th of april may, uh, 13 april 2022, 2022. Yeah, yeah yeah i think you wanted to start early but because of the covid you yeah, could yeah, not correct, and then correct, you started correct, correct. right yeah. so what, which are the uh, did you cover all the gcc not yet uh, qatar saudi bahrain yeah. next is kuwait yeah. then muscat Yeah, UAE. Yeah, yeah. Okay. After GCC, which is the next destination? Where are you planning? So then, then after I will go to the Jordan. Jordan side. Yeah. Okay. Jordan the Middle East, and, and then go to the Egypt, and the, I start to Africa. Okay. So do you take a break in between, or sometimes, it's continuous? Sometimes I, I take the break. Break means you know that if I don't get the visa. Okay. Sometimes I I I, I, uh, I should have to. has the visa problem okay but you don't go back to nepal in between sometimes sometimes, sometimes i must go back to the nepal so what do you do with your bicycle i put i keep that uh, wherever you are yeah, you keep it there bike. okay that's your own bicycle you no know, this is my own bicycle but this is my fourth bicycle actually that so what happened to the other three bicycles sir the first bicycle was electric okay because i wanted to give the masses uh, the electric that's why yeah. i chose the electric and uh, 
because it has a connect yes. some connection right yeah. so but, but uh, i use that bike uh, um, from nepal to india and the bangladesh to only uh, Dhaka, two countries mm. then 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 i i got a problem the charging problem yeah okay the mechanical problem too okay. and the uh, the electrical problem mm-hmm. so uh, the mechanical problem is not not so big i can uh, i can make that but the electrical problem i cannot do that right because i okay. am not a student of this mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, i'm not an electrician yeah, okay. like that it's okay. okay then uh, i thought that uh, it's not a, it, it it doesn't work so that's why i just left that bag in the new delhi mm-hmm. i but uh, come very common you know that uh, manual um, uh, bike mm-hmm. uh, the the electric bike was quite um, expensive okay and uh, which was a had a as a was a is 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 sponsored by the the kathmandu mm-hmm. the metro municipality from the kathmandu mm-hmm. and uh, but the second one was a so it's a normal bike okay yeah. it it was a, it had a gear but it was a normal okay so uh, the price was too low okay but but uh, when i uh, starting phase uh, i i felt something uh, you know that uh, it, i was uh, using quite hard working you know that but but after that uh, it's, it uh, it was a normal mm-hmm. yeah. then uh, then that bike uh, mm-hmm. when i used the, the second one the first one is in nepal mm. the second one is in philippines okay. because my son is there okay so the bike is there is oh, safe it. okay yeah. Yeah. so uh, the third one third one one of the uh, the ladies from the nepal mm. she's trying to go all over the world mm-hmm. and if she get the uh, opportunity and see if she get the sponsor mm-hmm. she she can join me okay, okay. so uh 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 see she, she told me that uh, i have no bicycle so how can i do practice so i said okay i have a two bicycles you take one yeah okay and th- that bicycle when uh, when i was in europe i used that bike mm-hmm. now it is in nepal okay. this fourth bike i bought is in nepal uh in second hand it's okay. not a, not it's a so so cheap very cheap yeah very okay. cheap yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so uh, i i didn't pay the much money because you know that if i i cannot uh, use the expensive bike yeah yeah it can be sometimes is is this, this can be the problem right so i don't use the the expensive one so where do you get the money from for your trip your expenses how do you meet the expenses mm, you know the this is the 100% is uh, the sponsorship program sponsored okay yeah. so to who is sponsoring i do believe in god okay first of all uh, he ordered me that to do this activities so this is my belief that if he ordered me he will find out the person mm-hmm. he to support to you for that you and sometimes uh, someone come i know that right okay yeah, it's it happening mm-hmm. so in one year and almost eight months you did 18 countries mm-hmm. how long do you think you will be able to complete your 150 countries maybe first of all uh, when i made the plan that maybe the five years maybe but five years. I, i think i cannot do that within five years so it takes maybe the eight to ten years eight to ten years mm-hmm. is your plan yeah. okay right where in nepal are you from sir Kathmandu. tell us about your family family uh, i have a mother she is 85 years old uh, my father already passed away and uh, and i have two brothers and two brothers mm-hmm. and then there's no sister and so and i have a wife um uh, a son mm-hmm. and uh, one nephew three nieces okay they all are in not in the pot Okay. Mm, they are out, uh, out of the Nepal. Uh, my son is in Philippines. Mm-hmm. He got married to a Filipina. Mm-hmm. Now I have a grandchild, grandson too. Okay. So my wife is going to stay there. Okay. Um, right. This month. Okay. So and uh, my nephew uh, from the the elder brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is in Australia. Okay. He is a lecturer in uh, Newcastle University. In, Mm-hmm. so and uh, the two nieces they are, they are also in uh, australia one niece is in usa right. so they all are supporting me okay they 
even though uh, I'm not trying to get something from there, but but if I get the problem, then they are there to support they you. Support, definitely support me because they believe in the cause. Yeah. They believe in the yeah. cause. Uh, tell us about Nepal government's initiatives about climate mitigation and adaptation. How do you look at? the nepal government stand the projects back the, home you know the you know the cop 28 yes it was in dubai dubai yeah last month right mm-hmm. so uh, my target was here mm-hmm. so uh, and the nepal from nepal the the prime minister uh, he was also there 27 26 the prime minister were in nepal mm-hmm. were there mm-hmm. so nepal you know that uh, we are the uh, one of the victim now yes mm. it's nepal and the nepal you know that mm. so uh the when the uh, general secretary of the un, UN. Mm-hmm. mr gutres when he uh, visited the nepal mm-hmm. he announced that the 42 all uh, the glaciers is mm. already burst mm. right so so the the people from the himalayan area mm. uh they are suffering now and uh, if you go to the nepal you can find that before i saw with my eye the mm. you know, that the, the the high altitude area like the peaks. Mina, Musta, mm. you know mm. that that's mm. that was the very famous for the apple mm. but now no 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 more apple mm-hmm. you, we can find in this area the orange mm-hmm. so it means uh, that is the you know the the an example of the climate change mm-hmm. mm. okay okay so the people from the the, the particular area that they they were uh, they they were using the rooftop by the mud okay they used the mud mm, mm. because there there is there were no rainfall yeah when the snow fall only snow but now rainfall. now it's raining yeah okay okay so the it's a so hard life now you know. not only that side but if you go to the coastal area the sea level is sea level rise yeah yeah, yeah. is it coming up right so, so mm-hmm. everywhere is the same so nepal uh, uh, you know that uh, we have uh, we have no you know that uh, the equipment and uh, we have no uh, the intensive plate form that uh, we can make the loud voice and that uh, but but it's okay it's okay mm-hmm. we are mm-hmm. we are trying our government is also trying that uh, that we all are suffering so uh compensation they are uh, like that you know that so uh, i don't want to tell anything negative yeah. negative because no know, any that, effort is positive yeah, yeah. anything yeah, that yeah. you do is because, positive yeah, because yeah, you know indeed. that i just i just make a hope that uh, everything will be okay, okay. yeah so uh, if you, even though there is so many you know that the lack of the right i yeah. think so but but i don't want to take no worries yeah. uh, mr sharma as you and me agree that the future belongs to the youngsters the younger generation mm-hmm. how do you look at the younger generation about their awareness mm-hmm. about these problems that you're talking about about apples the concern with which you spoke about it applies to every country you know mm-hmm. bahrain has its own problems yeah, yeah. india has its own mm-hmm. problems so do you think the future is aware mm-hmm. the younger generation do they know about this what is in your observation um i think that uh, the people the they are focusing uh in the other subjects not they don't know about the ex- the climate change actual problem yeah. yeah and uh, they are they're using the green space you know, so the um, but that's why i feel that uh, wherever i go at least i can tell to the the common people other people they say i said wherever i go i just say that please try to study about the climate and the global warming even though we have we, we so we have so many problems okay but uh, that is this is the major problem right if if he earth with safe safe earth then we can play here yeah you need a ground to play yeah so if there is no ground then where will we play yeah Okay. okay. Like. If we uh, uh, cultivate, we we harvest. Well, I like the way you connected it to the playground because you're a footballer. Yeah. What do you like more, cycling or football? Both. Both. 
<laughs> right. So football do you still play uh, football? Yeah, yeah. If I get the opportunity, why not? I, I always play. Before I uh, left the Nepal, I was playing them. Okay, <laughs> right. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us. What is your one last message to people of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Bahrain in terms of your mission, which is to save the planet? What is your message? Uh, okay, uh, first of all, that uh, uh, I would like to thank you, thankful to you, and that uh, you gave me the opportunity to say something about uh, regarding my uh, uh, tour mm-hmm. and the, my mission. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, the thanks to the government of the uh, Bahrain that uh, because he uh, permitted me to come to Bahrain. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, I just want to say that uh, you, the government, anywhere, not only in the Bahrain, okay, just try to uh, educate it. Try to educate the people that uh, what is the climate change actually? What is the global warming? It's not an easy subject matter. Some people is still they are saying that it's a rumor only. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's a business, a kind of a business, but it's not a business. So uh, just uh, just I like to appeal to the government of the Bahrain that please, please, uh, if if possible, then the, you can make the. Mm, the next syllabus mm-hmm. in the class. Education. Yeah, yeah, curriculum. Yeah, okay. curriculum, yeah. They can, they can put there. Mm-hmm. It's easy for the government. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so they can do that. Yeah. And the uh, greenery project, mm-hmm. not only in Bahrain, they have to support to the uh, all over the world. Mm-hmm. Not only uh, if we do something in Bahrain, because Bahrain is, what is the Bahrain? Bahrain is a part of the earth. Mm-hmm. Right. So if we do here the many activities, it will not work properly. Right. So they can they need to help to the other country too, especially yes. the the um, what you call the underdeveloped country. The developed country they can do themselves, but the underdeveloped country, especially greenery project. Mm-hmm. It's necessary. And the, you know the 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 Bahrain and uh, you know that the main source main source is the oil, right? Uh, yeah, for the region, yes. Yeah. Not necessarily Bahrain. Yeah. yeah. The GCC. So the GCC, all, yeah, yes. The GCC, they, they are all are making the, their production is the mm-hmm. oil. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I don't say that you do, you stop that, mm-hmm. but they can reduce mm-hmm. to use the, the oil like that, you know. So, so that we all can do better for, to save our the planet. Thank you very much, sir. We wish you all the very best in your journey. Um, we hope to see you again when you complete your 150 countries. Thank you so much. So that was Shiv Prasad Sharma on his Shubhayatra, as he calls it, peddling for the planet. We wish him all the very best. So wait for the next exciting, engaging and entertaining next guest. <laughs>